Hello gamers, the Darkmoon Fair got some changes in Season of Discovery and is one of the only ways to get a 14 slot bag in Phase 1. However, this bag can be quite pricey to obtain, so it's important to have your facts straight before you start farming. The first change from Normal Classic is that the Darkmoon Fair ticket quests have had their reputation cutoff removed. And in Phase 1 of Season of Discovery, the Tier 3 quests and higher have been disabled. This means you're spamming Tier 1 and Tier 2 turn-ins, depending on which is more financially sound for you, instead of doing the highest tier you can. In later phases, naturally more turn-ins will be enabled. I will update a pinned comment down below when new tiers are enabled. Secondly, the Darkmoon Fair has a two-week cadence on Season of Discovery, instead of the usual one-month cadence. This means the fair will visit two times in a month, once in the Horde area and once in the Alliance area. Lastly, most of the turn-ins for tickets are disabled. We currently only have a turn-in for the Darkmoon Flower, a minor prize bag, last month's mutton, and the storage box. The higher level turn-ins are not available. So those are the changes. What does that mean for us and how do we get this 14 slot bag efficiently? Basically, the Darkmoon Fair storage box is from acquiring 50 Darkmoon tickets and turning in the quest I mentioned earlier. You obtain tickets by turning in certain items and are rewarded a number of tickets based on the tier of the turn-in. There are five tiers as shown on screen. For the items themselves, there are mob drops, blacksmithing items, engineering items, and leatherworking items. And naturally, you want to turn in the highest tier possible for the most tickets. However, a lot of these items are unobtainable or extremely hard to get for level 25 characters with a 150 profession cap. So Blizzard has disabled many of the tier 3 and higher turn-ins entirely during phase 1 to save us some pain. I've seen a lot of guides from people who have even been to the fair recommending you farm soft bushy tails or even craft green fireworks for tier 3 turn-ins and people just believe them. I mean look at the profit margins of green fireworks on my server. It's crazy. With that in mind guys, during a season of discovery please do your own research search. Stuff is constantly changing and videos are hard to update, even with my own videos. So ignoring those unavailable items, that leaves us with tier 1 and tier 2. Tier 1 gives 1 ticket and tier 2 gives 4 tickets. So if the price of a tier 2 item is worth 4 times or less than a tier 1 item, it is better to turn in tier 2 items and vice versa if tier 2 is more expensive. For future phases, the same logic applies. Tier 3 gives 8 tickets and tier 2 gives 4 tickets, so if a tier 3 item is worth twice or less than tier 2, do the tier 3, etc. Typically speaking, the animal parts and the engineering items will be your cheapest in any phase. Animal parts are easily farmed and are picked up by levelers, and many of the engineering parts are made to cheaply level engineering. In contrast, the blacksmithing and leatherworking turn-ins are used by many Season of Discovery quests or waylaid supply shipments and are also not part of the typical recommended leveling routes for those professions. Thus, their supply is lower and the price is higher. It wouldn't hurt to search for all these items on your own server and see which one's best for you. However, you can't go wrong with the animal parts or engineering items. You can also get 5 free tickets from a quest in your capital city when the fair is in your faction's territory. So in reality, you only need to turn in 45 tickets worth of items. So that covers how to get Dark Moon tickets and get your 14 slot bag. As I mentioned earlier, I'll post any updates and a pinned comment down below as things change. If you guys want to make some gold, a very easy way to profit is to buy these turn-in items in the weeks leading up to a fair, then resell them once the fair is in town. I hope you all get your 14 slot bags and make a lot of gold. Until next time gamers, toodles!